Oh, hello. Welcome to Jared's Corner. Um, yeah. Okay, it's working. Um, this was just kind of a spur of the moment thing I thought of doing one of these earlier. But stuff got in the way. Um, so what I've, have I been doing since the last video update? I don't even know if anyone ever saw that. Good. Yeah. Last time it was just me on my birthday talking, having, just doing whatever. It is July 27th right now. I'm saying this because, well, tomorrow I may put this up. I don't know. I'm outside just because. Why not? It's a different environment. Um, um, I've just been writing with a friend of mine on our scripts. Um, I hope to meet with him tomorrow, but he's kind of got a new job. He doesn't know when he'll be off work. He says, though, I'm. Um, he will be, um, yeah, um, shit, um, he'll be off, like, eight, to, but that's it, that's really all he knows, um, fucking bugs, why the hell am I outside, I don't know, um, gonna try and make this short, um, I hope you can hear this too, uh, I'm talking a little, louder, uh, um, but, yeah, uh, basically I've just been writing some stuff here and there for scripts, um, hope we can find funding for Our films, because I finished a script. I think I told you all. If I didn't, well, now you know. I finished the script. It's like over 200 pages, so just yeah, like a little over. Um, so I'm happy. Um, and my bud and I were planning two movies. So motherfucker, ah, uh, fucking hate bugs outside. They fucking fly in your damn face. Anybody else have that problem? Yeah. Sorry for swearing a lot, but I just get angry. It's like I have to walk when they seems like when I walk, I'm fine. Stand still. Not fine. Uh, but yeah, basically we've written a little bit. We're continuing writing. I am writing on my own a little bit right now. We haven't been able to meet up in a while, but uh, yeah, I, I hope we can find funding. I kind of like do some deals, like if we're gonna dog like if we're gonna film a certain place, maybe we could a deal like filming it for free and then like some advertising or whatever because he actually has some supplies for like film equipment like cameras and all that good stuff so uh, that stuff is all right actors uh, well I'm gonna be an actor in it because I've always wanted to be an actor um, kind of scripts I the script I wrote and I'm writing I kind of wrote to act because I want to act and then the one I is done I am going to direct and produce all that stuff so yeah
and if we find money to go on uh, other places around town, which I hope we can do, that'd be cool. But I guess time will tell. Um, what I like to do is film all these three films in a back-to-back. -back. Like, I would like to start next month because some films when you're making there's not a completed script, but we have a story. I wrote a story out for it. He helped me kind of improve, yeah, improve it a little bit. So there's that. So at least we know where it's go the films are going. We prefer a completed script, but at least I would. But you know, hey, sometimes stuff happens. Um, and we probably use the same actors in the first film and the next two. Just because it'd be easier as opposed to like getting a whole new cast and crew, just keep everybody the same. We have to work on weekends, which I wouldn't want to do that, but yet it would be easier. So, you know, whatever works, we will figure that out. I have some friends who are intrigued in being in our film films I he's also going to be in the movie too um, and then while we're making the movies I might I'm thinking of it planning it on it whether this will happen or not is a different story but like because I have another channel the username is my name but of course there's a different name I have it now this channel's username is Star Wars 404 just because well I like Star Wars and that was just a couple numbers that came to my head so yeah the username is my name which this video you'll see under that's my name uh, oh yeah my name is Jared you can tell from the hell and I just killed a fucking net. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, I'm most likely gonna put up videos while we are filming or stuff. Not enough to, I won't record enough, but just kind of like show you, like, yeah, this is what we're kind of doing for this. Scene might tell you a little bit of description, description maybe about the scene or whatever, but not enough to hopefully spoil things for you um, I could do we could do funding for like on Indiegogo or Kickstarter but the problem there is there's so many people abusing it that it's those kind of sites are kind of not being trusted anymore um, for example like uh, James Rolfe um, he, he's make, he made the angry video game nerd came out this month well, I'll say in the Groman's Chinese Theater. Uh, I live in Des Moines, Iowa, so clearly I was not there. At least when that happened. Um, I could go to Chicago, but the tickets are sold out there. I will support that film by uh, buying it um, when it comes to DVD and Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, uh, well, I understand how I can be assistance. We might, maybe if we discuss it, if we're not able to find a way where we could either break deals or, or not break deals, get deals, money-wise as well as filming location-wise. Of course, we have to do permits and stuff. Uh, but also as well as just overall m money for the movies because I kind of like want a huge big kind of pot of money to dispute for three films so uh, kind of like a, doing it in thirds like this thirds for this and people will get paid 
what I get paid, I don't know, maybe a little, but not a lot. Um, but I do hope our films get made. Um, I'll let you know what we're doing. Um, If we do do an Indiegogo thing or whatever, um, let you know. You can find on that website. Um, also, there's like reward things, but we, I, I don't at least have anything that'd be worth giving to people. Maybe some set stuff, but I doubt there'll be anything on said, except like on location, which would be very local. We will not go to like Chicago or any place like that to film. We would do it here where it'd be easier and we kind of know the environment, so I guess we could predict what's happening. And if you, like in terms of weather and all, and if you're seeing any gnats or whatever, I apologize. I should have thought more ahead. But I just kind of did this on a whim. Um, but, let's see how long, uh, 11 minutes. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, I, uh, I guess I'll probably let you know what will happen, and then you'll see videos on my other channel, which I will put in the description of this video. Um, yeah. What else before I go? Um, oh yeah, today I saw Monty Python and the Holy Grail in theaters. Yeah, at a theater, yeah. You see, since I live in Des Moines, there's West Des Moines. And in West Des Moines, there's a, well, there's a mall, Jordan Creek, and it has a theater. Well, what they do every Sunday and Wednesday now, they've been doing it for a while, they, since like last year, maybe a couple of years ago, last year for sure, because I saw Jaws last year, Dude, that was awesome, but what they do is basically they have, they take classic films and they have them, one film a week, like Sunday at two, that's always the thing. And then Wednesday at 2 and 7. So if you didn't go on Sunday, you can go Wednesday in the afternoon if you have it off. Or, or if you don't just work at all Wednesday. Or you can go at 7 at night. Do whatever. Um, and that was hilarious. That, that's, that's, that was a full crowd. Or not a full crowd. Well, it was a full crowd. Um, it wasn't packed, I'm going to say that. I have only seen a packed crowd only a couple times in my life. Like, Star Wars Episode 3. Well, all the, kind of like the Star Wars prequels were kind of packed. Episode 1 and Episode 3. Episode 2, I, I guess, could, yeah, yeah, probably was packed because... I saw those films the days of, like, they came out, as well as the Batman trilogy. Um, and especially, I know for sure, the Dark Knight trilogy, because I saw all of them before the Dark Knight Rises. Like, July 19th was Batman Begins, then after, like, three hours, because there's, like there's, like, half an hour between each break. If you, in case you didn't go see that, because there's around multiple places um, that like the trilogy, all of them up until like then at midnight was the Dark Knight Rises. You know that that was a fucking crowded place. It was packed, and people were dressed up like one was dressed up as Bane, one, B Batman. There was a woman there dressed up like Robin. Yeah woman dressed up like Robin. That was that was actually cool. I just wore a Batman shirt, shorts, and a jersey, and 
had it. I had it. I even loaned my friends some Batman stuff for, so they could wear it because they either had lack of Batman stuff or one just had a Jimi Hendrix shirt on because you know, Jimi Hendrix and Batman are obviously related. Uh, uh, but no, that was fun, and that was fun today. And um, next week is the Big Lebowski. The week after that is Beverly Hills Cop, and then I have to wait till Beverly Hills Cop to see what other six movies. Cause they have six movies, like like four in a month, and then two a month. One film. This time it'll be one film the month which was June and then uh, which was really Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and then they'll have four films then next week it, or well oh, fuck I, I, I kind of fucked up but basically every so often it's just kind of a cycle and it's interesting it's cool um, I didn't get to see the Godfather 1 and 2 because they had the one Nice. And you could only see those once. So, two days you could see The Godfather and The Godfather Part 2 back to back on the big screen, which I would have loved to see, but uh, stuff happened. And it was like, it's one of those things. Life comes in, stuff I did, like volunteer stuff, which I haven't done as much of, though. I basically have kind of stopped that. Mainly because I want to make my own film, but kind of need money, which doesn't pay. But I, I would get forty, anyway, from forty to sixty bucks if I, if who, what I was doing, I helped, like editing or being a PA or whatever. If, if the job I did, and if I was working with someone else, the job we did was very, very good. And if it was a big thing or a small thing, we may get paid. It was always cash, which always has taken me by surprise. My volunteers don't really get paid, but then again, it, the place is like it's kind of a good, fairly sized place. So I guess they want, they like it with people volunteer. So they probably want volunteers to kind of stay for a while which I can understand so I've been doing that for a good while um, I don't know I'm kind of thinking of leaving doing something else I'm sorry for scratching but yeah, that's what I've been doing, and what I've done, and what I am planning on the future is kind of tentative right now. Hope it'll be permanent of us doing this. We just have to reconnect, which we have. So I will say, see you later, and peace out, people.